Hello guys and welcome back to whatever the heck this is. It is Sunday, which is typically the day I tend to like start and end my vlogs, typically because it's the day where I'm home alone. Alvin works on Sundays. His work week is Sunday through Thursday. I work Monday through Friday. So we've got one day of overlap where I'm working and he's off. And then when he's working and I'm off. It's like 1.30. I spent the morning actually being pretty productive. I got up a couple of videos edited. I took Rex out already. I did some cooking. I've got a loaf of bread in the oven actually for dinner. I wanted to make some nice pasta for tonight. And I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to kind of jump into a couple of kitchen projects that I wanted to get started or if I should go sit in bed for a few hours and then jump in. Because last weekend, if you missed the last vlog, I'll throw it up in the cards, but I forced myself to kind of bed rot, like just lay in bed, do nothing but relax and watch TV for three hours. And then I felt a lot better because <laughs> I have this like terrible habit of not being able to like actually relax. I, I feel like I measure my worth and my productivity. So I'm always like, go, 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 do the next thing, get this done, check this off your list. And then I, I burnt out really, really hard last week. So I'm trying to be a little bit better at that. So I think, you know, it's 1.30. I'm going to go sit in bed for at least two hours, watch some YouTube, relax, and then reinvigorated we'll come back to do a couple of projects here in the kitchen and get dinner started. So this is the bed. I love making the bed every day. It just makes me feel much more put together. I'm gonna get myself a snack, grab my laptop and lay on my Junie Mo pillows. These are the softest, most comfortable, squishy pillows ever. And I love them the pieces. They're official Stardew Valley merch that I bought through Sanchi. <sighs> All right, it is a few hours later. I almost fell asleep. <laughs> I wish I had maybe tried to take a nap a little bit earlier, but you know what? It would have thrown off my whole sleep schedule. I'm glad I didn't ultimately take a nap. Um, but it's time to jump in and actually get started on this kitchen. So it's around 4.20 right now, blaze it. I, <laughs> so stupid. I wanna do a little bit of work here in the kitchen and I gotta take Rex out for a W-A-L-K and then I'll get back in here and we'll start dinner because I want tonight to be like a nice early night. Alvin gets off work at seven. So I basically, I want dinner done by the time he gets home. So 7.30, we can eat and then clean up, head straight to bed. The bread for dinner is already done, looking so nice and it's basically all cooled off. So I'm gonna leave it whole until like I'm ready to slice it and make dinner. So I'll probably just put off, put that off to the side because the pan it's on top of is what I'm gonna make the baked oatmeal in, which is going to be our breakfast for the week. And speaking of, I actually gotta look up a recipe for that because usually I make a pumpkin baked oatmeal, but I don't have any pumpkin. Um, so I'm gonna look up another recipe for baked oatmeal. In addition, I've got all these new uh, mason jars to, I, I wanna put some, like I wanna clean out the fridge, put some stuff in them, put the rest away. I want to go into this cabinet all the way up there. I have a bunch of old um, plastic Tupperware that I, I just don't use. And that's where I wanna store the mason jars. So I wanna clean that out, organize it a little bit. This drawer desperately needs a clean out. I just need to pull everything out, give it a nice scrub, organize, do maybe a little bit of declutter, put everything back in. This needs it. I want to do a quick clean out of the fridge. I honestly don't think I need to scrub it down. It doesn't look dirty, but I need to check all the food because I did see some salsa that went bad yesterday. So I just want to check all the food, make sure everything is good, um, and maybe reorganize a little bit. And then of course I've got some dirty dishes in the sink and I've got to put away the clean dishes, throw those dishes in the dishwasher. Uh, my headphones are currently connected to my laptop. I'm listening to my backlog of watch later videos. I was currently like two months behind on what's up and makeup. So that's what I'm currently catching up on. And let's get started. I think I want to do the dishes first to make room in the dishwasher. So on Pinterest, I found this recipe from Five Heart Home. It's a baked apple oatmeal, which sounds perfect because I have apple, I have cinnamon. I've actually got to use up the apples before they go bad. So we're going to make this. Okay, 
so I doubled the recipe and it doesn't look like a lot but it's oatmeal so it should bake up it's four cups of oats so I'm gonna try since this is the first time I'm trying this recipe I'm just gonna keep it at this and we'll bake it up and give it a taste test and if I like it I'll print out the recipe and I'll like quadruple it next time because this is already a double recipe So I just got back from a walk with Rex. The baked oatmeal is done and it smells delicious. I'm gonna let that cool off for a bit before I package it up. I think I'm actually gonna switch gears. I wanna do a little bit of work in the freezer before I jump into the fridge, because I'm thinking if I can go through the fridge first, I can figure out which one of these jars I actually want to use now so that I have less to store in the actual cabinet. Does that make sense? Yes. And actually, I think we might start with the alcohol. Because I've got some um, containers on the bar cart that I think I want to put into here. And all of these, I've already run through the dishwasher. They're all clean. So if you didn't know, this cute little section here is our bar cart. So initially, I bought, like, these really cute looking, like, skull jars and stuff. But they're not, they're not great for storage. And actually, this is also another container I want to replace with a, um, I forgot what they're called. Oh my god. Um, but these are also, these use the small, I, you know what, it might be better for alcohol to have that small mouth, but anyway, so what I'm thinking of doing is obviously this I want to replace with a jar, because I figured it would look nicer and it would store everything that I needed, and actually, you know what, I don't need all of this, I'm gonna go through some of these. There we go. I'm like so close to getting rid of this bar stool, bar stool, <laughs> bar spoon, because I never use it, but yeah, just in case, you know, yeah. Oh, I forgot the, the, no, this is the bigger, the smaller one. Did I say the smaller or the bigger jar? I really wish this fit up top. It does not, and it bugs the shit out of me. <laughs> so I might get a smaller container for the bitters. Um, but I was thinking of one of these... Well, you know what? Dead ass. I only use these for making coquito. I'm, I, I might just mix them. I know that's blasphemy, but you know what? We're only going to use it for coquito and we're saving it. So you know what? I'm doing it. <laughs> and since these are liquids, I'm going to use the other jar lids that I bought on Amazon. I'm actually, I'm gonna buy another pack of these because I'm almost out and I use these whenever I store liquids or like, I was gonna say creams, it's not a makeup, <laughs> like sour cream or anything like that in these jars. If I'm storing something dry, I'll use the regular canning lid. So that's better because once the champagne is gone, I can fit other bottles down here. And actually I've got a bottle of wine on the counter. I think I could fit down here now. Oh, perfect. So, I think that's good for the bar cart for now. So this is all the kind of pre-cooking, pre-meal planning I was able to get done. I wanted to add eggs to these, but I'll just have to cook up an egg the morning that I have them. So I have three breakfasts with some um, roasted potatoes and sausage. I've got a big serving, which is probably going to last Alvin at least a week, if not a little bit longer, of um, apple cinnamon baked oatmeal. And then we've got a loaf of bread, a little bit of which we're going to have for dinner, which actually I need to get started like now because it's six. And then the rest is going to be for lunches throughout the week. Huh. 
Good morning. It is the next day. It is Monday morning and I'm getting ready for work. Apologies if you can hear the AC on, but like it's so weird. It got really like actually warm and humid outside. We're getting a bunch of thunderstorms this week. But for some reason, our radiators are still on. Usually if it goes above like 50 degrees, the radiators will turn off, but the radiators are on. I've got a window in the front cracked, but I can no longer open these windows because of the smoke. So I gotta use our AC. So I'm just gonna do a quick full face of makeup. A dinner last night was delicious. I'm so glad I went and I did that. And that big pot of pasta sauce is like for dinner. So I can just package that up, freeze it. It's good for up to six months. And I'm so glad I did that breakfast meal prep because this week is turning out to be a little busy, but like today, I'm not even kidding. Most of my day, like six hours is just meetings, straight meetings for six hours. So um, I'm hoping that at least the day can go by fast. Also, I think I mentioned in a previous vlog that I saw myself in the viewfinder with like my full face of dewy makeup because um, I've been doing that like honestly for the last few at least two months just because it's faster and it looks nice and since I work from home now and I'm inside most of the day it doesn't like wipe completely off my face immediately. But I don't like how it looks like there was like, I don't know, I got like the ick. I was looking in the mirror and I'm like, I just look sweaty. I don't look dewy. So I kind of want to go back to powdering, but I went back to using like my old kind of favorite powders, like the Givenchy. And then I had my Chat Masse and everything. And the powder just like didn't look great. It looked dry. So I don't know. I need to do some testing. So I'm going to go back to the Maybelline Fit Me in shade five for my loose powder. And I'm going to try that out and see how it works. I've really been debating whether I want to try and laminate my brows because I don't know I've been in like a brow slump I haven't gone to get them professionally like shaped or threaded or waxed or anything in years and I just feel like while they're like neat and tidy I feel like I've lost all shape and I don't know now that I when I look at them I'm just like blah and I feel like there's a lot of hair there it's just my hair is naturally curly so I've noticed my brow hairs curl too and I don't know, I feel like laminating my brows might look nice. Have you guys done that at home? Because I was looking on Amazon at some like DIY home kits and they've got like very mixed reviews. So I don't know, I'm debating it. All right, so apologies, my battery died halfway through doing my makeup, but I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm definitely liking powdering in like my T-zone more. I'm kind of over the whole full face of Dewey, but I do think I need to get some darker, um, loose powders because the loose powders and the shades that I bought are for brightening my under eyes so I think the shade might be a little too bright for like on my chin and my t-zone but overall I like the way that it looks I just have to do mascara in a little bit when everything else is dried down and I've got 10 minutes before my first meeting of the day bright and early so I'm gonna grab another cup of coffee get changed head right to work and honestly I'm not I'm just gonna throw my hair up in a bun today's a bun day <laughs> So work is almost done for the day. I've been in six hours of meetings. I need a nap. <laughs> we're going to do a frozen pizza for dinner and head to bed early. But we're about to put out the recycling. And I don't think we've ever had this much recycling. So I figured I'd show you. <laughs> Look at all of these boxes. That's a lot. So the bins are actually empty because it's going to storm tonight. I put all the recycling into the Amazon boxes. So we don't have to leave this, the bins out in the bad weather and then clean them when they come back in. So these two boxes were the mason jars. Um, this one came shattered, so there's actually broken glass in there. We had to take the dump first before we put the box out for recycling. The rest is just lots of orders we placed because we didn't go, we haven't gone out shopping, like grocery shopping or anything in, oof, I want to say over a month now. So we're ordering everything online. Um, hopefully once my schedule gets a bit better, we can go back to actually going out to go shopping. But until then, the recycling pile. Look at the chunkiest little babies. Little babies. Love you. Okay, so it's 4.30. I'm just about done with work for the day. And I have to admit, this is where I struggle. I've been feeling like a headache come on for the last two hours. I've been staring at my screen. I can tell it's the brightness of the screen. And just all the meetings I've been in. I've been in six hours of meetings. It doesn't feel like a migraine, but this is where I struggle because I'm just thinking like push through it. You got to work out. You got to make dinner. You got to do this. You got to do the cleaning for the day. And um, 
Because if I don't, I feel like I'm just being lazy. Like I've got stuff I gotta do, right? But I'm gonna try and work against that for today. I did do a little bit of cleaning, <laughs> but to me, it's like the easy cleaning, like dusting. Like I just dusted my vanity. I did a little bit of vacuuming, um, like the chores I enjoy, right? So instead of working out, making dinner like I normally would, I am going to take a nice hot shower, have a frozen pizza for dinner, and try to get to bed early. It's like every part of me is just like screaming, like, no, don't do it. But you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to see if I have time to do my nails tonight. Because I pulled off my last set of press-ons. They were a gray color. I hated the color. Um, and I'm surprised how much I like like these sparkly kind of nude shades. So I'm going to do that. And actually, I'm going to start now by taking my makeup off and putting some Tiger Balm on my head for a little bit before I jump in the shower. I think that'll help. And the other hard part is like I feel this headache and I don't know what caused it. Of, unless it's literally just the brightness of the screens because I ate today. I'm not on my period. I drank water. I took Excedrin. Uh, I did like all the stuff I was supposed to do. <laughs> I got fresh air. I went for a walk and I still had this headache. So I, this is one of those days where I just like, I, I don't know. Good morning. It is the next day and uh, I feel a lot better. <laughs> I actually like slept really well last night even though I went to bed later than like I wanted to. So th yeah I feel again I had that struggle admitting like taking kind of a night off and just like relaxing for the whole night made me feel really good. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> So I still have my meal prepped breakfast thing. So I'm gonna fry up four eggs, two for today, and then two for tomorrow. I've got the other container over here, just cause I know tomorrow morning is gonna be really busy. So I wanna go ahead and have breakfast prepped for that. It is a very gloomy day. So we're gonna be inside all day. I've got some laundry going and hopefully work isn't gonna be too crazy. I only have meetings in the afternoon. So I'm hoping it won't be too. And also it's March and I have no idea when I'm supposed to figure out or find out this month whether or not I'm getting a promotion and if I do how much of a promotion it is so a little anxious about that at this point we're taking it one day at a time and actually I've got something really <laughs> embarrassing to admit so my husband and I were talking about this last night and I just just now realized that other than taking Rex out for a walk I have not left this apartment in six weeks I haven't gone out grocery shopping. I haven't gone out to do anything fun. I haven't gone out to eat. I haven't left this apartment except to walk Rex. So a lot of this is starting to make more sense. Like I knew logically, it had been a few weeks since I had gone out to do anything. Cause to be frank, between the apartment stuff and work being so hectic, like by the time the weekend hit, I was so exhausted. And I was either trying to push myself to be productive around the house or I was just like bed rotting and that was it. I didn't realize it was six weeks though. So this weekend we are definitely going out, even if just to like grocery shop or go out to eat or something, I am leaving this apartment. <laughs> but yeah, so that was embarrassing to like realize and admit that like, yeah, no wonder I'm feeling like burnt out because I'm pushing myself to be productive all the time. Work's been crazy. The smoke from downstairs has been ruining almost everything. And then on top of that, I have not just gone anywhere in weeks and weeks and weeks so I've got this weekend we're gonna go out and do something and then I think it's next week or the weekend out it might be the week after I don't have a calendar updated I gotta update my calendar but I have a Thursday Friday off from work and that Thursday is an all-day conference that I'm listening to from the project management institute so I'm gonna listen to that like in bed try to relax listening to it and then that Friday my grandma and I are gonna do an all-day shopping day we want to hit Ikea see what they've got 
just have fun, go to the mall or something. So I'm looking forward to actually having some enrichment time out of my enclosure. So I'm gonna finish cooking these eggs and get back to work. All right, so work is almost done for the day. It's still raining and gross, so we're stuck inside, but ultimately it was a pretty decent day. Um, I actually, like, I'm about to take my hair out and just throw it up in a bun so I could get ready to work out. And it actually, it looks so cute. This clip turned out really cute and I don't want to take my hair out because it looks, it looks nice. <laughs> but this, I got a little bit more practice with it. Um, I think I need to have maybe like tease the hair underneath to have it stay better because there's not like a whole lot of grip there. So it feels loose, but the effect it has on my bangs is like super duper cute. But come on, we're good, okay. Taking it out. So now we gotta open up each individual clip so I don't rip my hair out. I'm sure this will be much easier in the mirror, but. And then the last one. Boom. <sighs> right. And even though it's like cold and rainy outside, the radiators are on full force, so I've been sweating. <laughs> I have a window open and everything, but it's still pretty warm, so I just wanna put my hair up in a bun. And there we go. Huh. Okay, so it's like 15 after five and I've been waiting for my colleague to message me and I see the little bubbles that she's typing keep popping up, but nothing's coming through. So either she's writing me a novel or it's like a glitch thing. So I'm gonna call it cause I need to go ahead and work out and then make dinner. <laughs> Good morning, it is the next day and I am getting ready for work. I got about half an hour before I have to start working for the day. I slept okay last night, but overall I felt pretty good. Um, I do have two kind of big meetings I have to run today. One is the usual every Wednesday meeting that I took over a few weeks ago and that's been going pretty well. I've only had like one hiccup of that so far, but overall that meeting is going pretty good. The other meeting though, it's my first time running that kind of meeting. It's a launch call for a, a new project. So it's like the first thing we do when we're starting a new project. And I'm a little anxious about that just because I've never had to run that big of a meeting where, you know, you got to introduce everybody and you got to like have the documents and everything. But I've been through a ton of training. I've watched a ton of these. So I think it'll go smoothly, especially because thankfully it's like, an, I don't want to say it's an easy project, but it's a more simple project. Um, if you don't know, I work in publishing. Um, so we have books that we can publish. We sometimes also have like what we call uh, like online courseware. There we go. We have online courseware we could also add in. Um, sometimes we do eBooks, you know, and for this project, it's just a print book and an eBook. So that's probably one of the like, not the simplest project we could have, but like the, the next step up from simplest. So I honestly think it's a pretty good project to start with when, um, prepping for this kind of meeting. And I have to say, I've been trying to let my brows grow out so I could like re get them done, like get threaded or something. And there's like a bunch of hair right here that every time I look at it, I swear I keep forgetting that it's hair. I keep thinking it's like, I don't know, like makeup that like I messed up on, but really it's just hair growing in. And that that's why it's taken me so long to do this because I, I hate how, how my brows look like when they're growing in. Ah, I'll get over it, I'll get over it. So today is another stormy like blah kind of day outside. So I think we're gonna be stuck inside again. I'm gonna see because I have those meetings in the morning. So after those meetings are done, I'm gonna see what it looks like outside. And if it's not terrible, I'll take Rex out. But if it's like already raining, then we're gonna have to stay inside. So I don't wanna jinx anything, but like, I feel like I got a good start to today. I, I got decent sleep last night. I woke up, I had my coffee. I've got my second cup with me. I read a little bit. I've noticed that like now, I used to be such a read before bed kind of person, but now by the time bedtime comes around, I'm exhausted and I just pass out. So I've been trying to read in the morning when I wake up. So I read a little bit. I did a quick little meditation to start the day and I'm feeling, I'm feeling decent. I'm feeling a little like anxious, 
about those meetings coming up, but overall I feel pretty decent. And I've noticed now that my work week, it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are like my busiest times. And then Thursday, Friday, it kind of mellows out and I can get more work done outside of meetings. Whereas previously, I really only used to have a busy Monday and Thursday. So it's also just like getting used to the new schedule. And if there's anything about me and my anxiety is that when things change, I can deal with the small incremental changes, right? But when a whole bunch of stuff changes at once, that's where, you know, and obviously that's what happened. Like for the last six weeks, it's been nothing but change. So I'm just getting used to it. And I feel like after a few more weeks of getting used to the new schedule, it'll just be like, you know, secondhand. So I'm going to do a quick face of makeup, catch up on some vlogs that I have on my watch later playlist, and then get to work. <gasps> I just hit my first pan in my pan that palette. Ooh, ooh, that's exciting. So I love Taylor Wynn's vlogs, but they're probably not the best thing for me to watch when I'm getting ready because I'm constantly like staring and losing focus. And then she's moving. So I love her moving vlogs because I love the way she organizes and decorates. And I just, I've already stopped like twice to add stuff to my Amazon cart. So I think I'm gonna switch and watch something else just so I can finish getting ready real quick. All right, everything's done except mascara. I'm gonna let my face dry a little bit longer, get dressed before I throw that on. I'm actually really liking this eye look. It's like pinky, but not too like, out there. So I'm gonna get dressed, start working. <sighs> I just ran that meeting I was really nervous about and overall it went really well and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful I work with like really nice and understanding people and it went really well. So now I just gotta like edit my notes, grab the recording, send it out to everybody. Um, oh, but I, at the end of the call, <laughs> I did almost, I was so anxious. I almost messed this up. So in my brain, I was thinking of um, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. And also, please feel free to reach out if you need anything. And for some reason, those smushed in my brain. And what almost came out was don't reach out. <laughs> Could you imagine if someone ended a call, like a meeting with, and don't reach out to me. <laughs> Uh, I stumbled, I like stumbled a little bit, so I didn't say it, but I almost did. So I'll work on that last time. But the rest of the meeting went really well, especially with the intros. We all had to do quick introductions and I've never run a call where we've had to do that, but I think it went well. <sighs> I feel so much better. <laughs> all right, it's, I got like an hour left of work. So let me get back to my emails and my notes. And then, oh, I can show you the new curtains that we just got. Okay, so two kind of house changes since we last were in the living room. First are these curtains, which you can't see anything because of the lights. Hang tight. There we go, it's a little bit better. So you can see they are gray curtains. They're blackout curtains because I really wanted to get blackout curtains for the front window since we have them on every other window and they help not only with keeping the light out, which is nice, but also with um, heat. So like during the summer, having the blackout curtains on the other windows made it so much cooler inside. Um, not to say that these blinds aren't great. They work okay, but honestly, I hate cleaning these. They're nice wooden, like bigger blinds, or at least they're not the cheapy plasticky ones, but they're still a pain in the ass to clean. So if I don't have to clean them, I just, I like curtains better. I can throw the curtains in the washing machine and they come out great, which these are still brand new. I just put them up here to make sure they fit. So that's why they still have the creases. I'll give them a nice wash after we finalize what we're doing. So we got one pack of two, so we fit them there. I think we would only need one more to cover the middle, but I don't know if we're gonna keep it gray. We might do a different color in the middle. I don't know, you guys let me know. Should I keep it gray in the middle or should I do a different color curtain? Maybe like a sheer curtain? No, I don't know, something like an accent in the middle. I could do sheer, I've got black sheer, but I want something solid to cover it at night because the idea is either to take out the blinds or leave the blinds all the way up and have these on. And the way these are connected, they're literally just magnets because the blinds are magnetic and the window sills are magnetic. So I literally just took some magnets and hung them up and they came out really cute. All right, the other thing is our bathroom light bulb. I hate this light. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't really do anything like in the bathroom. Like if you look at it, the rest of the bathroom is still really dark. 
and then this light's here. It, honestly, the light should not be there. The light should be over the toilet, because then we'd actually have light in the bath in the bathtub. But I digress. Um, but I hated this light, and my husband loves it, so he leaves it on all the time. So what I did is I convinced him to put a smart bulb in here, so at least I could set the vibes. Boom. I can make it any color I want now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm liking the Barbie pink. But honestly, just having, like, the ability to have any color. And then also, we can dim it. So I can set it at 10%, I can set it all the way up. And it's made it so much nicer. So now I'm not pissed off whenever I see he left the light on. <laughs> so those are our little apartment updates because as I've been stuck here for like six weeks, I need to leave the apartment. But also I am someone who just loves to like change like my environment. Like I'll always have a different candle, a different curtain, like things I can swap out. I just, I'm always thinking of how I can continuously improve my space and it makes me happy. <sighs> Good morning. It is the next day and I'm starting up my work laptop. It is 8 15. I have an 8 30 meeting due to daylight savings, which is ending soon, thankfully. One of my international calls, which was typically at 9 30, is now at 8 30. So Thursdays are, or every other Thursday, is a bit of an early start for me. So I'm not ready yet. So typically, like these meetings, no one's on camera because it's so early for some and late for others. So I can sit here and do my makeup during that call. <laughs> But while I wait for my computer to start up, I did get a package yesterday I want to show you guys. So I've been testing refer brushes for like four or five months now. I bought a bunch of them during Black Friday and they came the first week of December. So December, January, February. Yeah, so three months I've been testing out like a good amount of their original line of natural hair brushes and they just came out with their first synthetic brushes. And before I did that video, I was like, I have to like try out their synthetic brushes as well. So these are their first synthetic brushes, except for one of them was actually a repurchase of, these are the synthetic brushes. This was a repurchase because I actually really enjoy this one. Spoiler alert for that upcoming video. This is the brush 19. So the new synthetic brushes are the B01, the B03, and I'm gonna guess B02, yep. So I wanted to go ahead and open these, give them a quick rinse with the, um, Cinema Secrets cleaner um, because they are brand new. Okay, they're still soft. Hmm. Curious to see how these will perform. Uh, my boss just messaged me late last night saying she had news. I hope it's good news. I don't know. All right, these are all the synthetic brushes. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'll test them all today for the first time, but of course over the next few weeks, I'll give them a good test so I can include them in my full refer review video. But it's like, part of me loves doing those kind of videos because they're fun and I like testing new things, but the other part of me, it's like, it's so much work that goes into a video. And honestly, the review videos don't do that well anymore. But refer brushes, I've seen them everywhere. Everyone has a PR code. They're almost like, in my mind, I was like, is this the new Morphe? So I wanted to test them out for myself. So I'm still gonna do it, but now the video is gonna get pushed back by, you know, a couple months because I really want to thoroughly test these two. <sighs> so I was so nervous and anxious about this meeting that I was gonna record my reaction to it and I forgot to press the button. So I did not, but I just got the phone with my manager. Um, I did get a promotion and I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it was definitely less, a different title and less money than we thought. Um, so while I'm happy that I've got a promotion, I've kind of been bumped up to a new level, if that makes sense, but I'm at the very bottom of that level. So there's room for growth, but it's gonna take time, which I don't know. And I was also, it's not as great of a title for my industry. So I don't know, we're gonna have to work with the, the title, but um, yeah. <laughs> My manager was actually like, I guess pretty shocked that I'm still here, which that, that, that sounds rude. No, it's just that I've been getting like really small incremental raises every year. It doesn't even keep up with inflation. Um, but like the company that I'm in is so, it's like a good match for me, if that makes sense. Like it's, they're focused on like long-term career growth, always learning and they are clearly the top of their industry. So 
I have to weigh the pros and cons. And I feel like I had this exact same conversation with myself two years ago when the same thing happened. I went for a promotion, got the promotion, but it wasn't as much money as I was hoping for. I mean, this is more money than it was last time. So for me, yes, that is great. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna call my husband and let him know. And then I'm gonna take Rex out because we've been cooped up inside. And it's good to finally like know because I've been in limbo for like two months. Like this is what I spent the last two months like working towards is that I basically took on this role before I even really had it. And now that I have it, well, I don't have it yet. It's effective in April. But now that it's confirmed what I do have, it's not ex exactly what I was hoping for. All right. Hello. It is the next day. I'm already deep into work and I only have one meeting today and I don't have to be on camera for that meeting. So I took a nice long hot shower. I did my hair. I'm going to blow dry it a little bit later. Um, and I haven't done makeup yet. I just did my skincare in some sunscreen. I've also already had some coffee and now I'm moving on to, ooh, I like this. This is the Celsius. No, yeah, let's go like that. Celsius energy drink. I saw, um, cat. Uh, from this YouTube channel right here, talk about them. And they used to only be available, I think, in the UK, and now they're available everywhere here in the States. And this is sparkling mango passion fruit, and that tastes delicious. So it's supposed to have a lot of vitamins and stuff, but what I was just looking for was just, like, another source of caffeine. <laughs> and this definitely is. This has a lot of caffeine in it, like 200 milligrams. So if you are sensitive to caffeine, absolutely do not have these, because usually I, I consider myself someone who has had a lot of caffeine for most of my life and I didn't think it would affect me this much but I took two I drank two of these one day and that's like the max they tell you you can have in a day and I felt heart palpitations <laughs> so if I felt it and I've like been a caffeine fiend for 15 years I can't imagine what this would do to somebody who's sensitive to caffeine but that being said they're delicious they've got a lot of caffeine so I'm trying to cut out some soda and have some of that which I know it's still an energy drink but still so after letting the promotion sit for a bit and like looking at our finances and doing some math overall, it's, I mean, it's definitely better than what I had, which is great, right? Even though it's not as much as I was hoping to get with this promotion, it's still a lot, but like a lot better than what I was getting. Um, and we were looking at our budget and like apartments in the area and we'll definitely be able to afford to get an apartment in like a nicer full building and not like a townhouse like we currently are in, which is the ultimate goal, right? And we actually, after we did the math, we realized we've been living like pretty below our means for a while which is great because we've got good savings we've got emergency fund we've got all that fun stuff so it was a little scary at first to think about upgrading the apartment but honestly it's not that much of an upgrade because we're paying a lot of money to live here i mean we're in north jersey anywhere is going to be expensive so taking that leap it's really only going to be a couple hundred dollars extra a month and we would have a much better apartment with much better amenities so i'm starting to get excited about the possibilities now so so overall, I do feel pretty good about the promotion and everything. And tonight we're actually gonna go out to eat to celebrate. So that's why I've got my hair and my makeup not done. I didn't wanna wear my hair and makeup all day and then go out to eat. I figured when I'm done with work for the day, I'll probably try to finish around 4.30 so that I could do my hair, do my makeup, get a nice cute dress on and go out to eat. But until then, I've got a little bit of cleaning to do and work. I've got a lot on my list to get done today. So I'm gonna buckle down and get this done. I'm kind of the world's worst vlogger. <laughs> I was gonna vlog last night, didn't do it. We were so hungry, we got to the restaurant, we just inhaled everything. And by we, I mean me. I was gonna vlog shopping today, actually getting out of the apartment, but it was gross outside and I didn't. 
So I got a haul for you guys instead. We went to Target and Trader Joe's. So let's do the Target stuff first. All right, first we got some 100% maple syrup. Um, I was gonna get this at Costco, but we ended up not going to Costco today because quite frankly, we don't really need to go to Costco because we bought a bunch of meat and a bunch of other stuff. So we're stocked up. So just picked it up. This is the Target Good and Gather, Good and Gather brand. So my favorite kind of Spanish olives to put in my um, Puerto Rican rice is sold at Target, but I have not seen them like the last four times we've gone to Target, which is really a shame because I love those olives. So I picked these ones up to see if maybe they could be a good replacement, but they're just sliced black olives. I got four cans of these crushed tomatoes. This is what I use when I make big batches of red pasta sauce. Alrighty, I picked up four blocks of feta cheese just because I love making that TikTok feta pasta and this is the best kind of feta to do it with. And we're actually gonna make it for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna leave one out. I might throw it in the fridge. The rest of these are gonna go in the freezer because it freezes really nicely. We also got two, two liters of Dr. Pepper for Alvin. We also got two of my favorite coffee creamers. These are the Califia Farms Almond Milk Creamer and French Vanilla. So Alvin picked up some snacks. He got these kettle cooked mesquite barbecue chips and then also spicy queso funyuns, which sounds really gross to me. <laughs> spicy queso funyuns. And for my snack, I love these Pop-Tarts that are banana bread flavored. I don't eat them for breakfast. They're way too sweet for that. But as a snack, like in the afternoon, these are perfect. Alvin picked up this really jacked up box of Apple Jacks Pop-Tarts. <laughs> And then I got some laundry stuff. So first I picked up the Bounce laundry sheets. I just love the scent of the Bounce. And honestly, this has a corgi that looks like Rex on it. Look how cute. And I just love the Bounce sheets. They work great. They smell awesome. They're like my favorite laundry scent ever. And then I've been trying to try out, instead of those laundry beads for scent boosting, I've been trying out these like rinses. So this one's from Downy and it's in the scent Ocean Mist. So I figured I would try it out. For Rex, we picked up his favorite rawhide alternative sticks. I just call them sticks, but they're rawhide alternative uh, twists. Okay, and last for Target, I picked up some command hooks. So I love these for hanging up a uh, cleaning bottle. So I got two more of those. Um, I got these, I, we have a couple of step stools cause I'm very short. <laughs> and now that we're gonna put curtains in the living room, I need to keep a step stool out there cause again, short. Um, so I picked this up so I could have probably one in the kitchen and then one in the living room to hang up our step stool. And then speaking of the curtains, um, I figured these would be cute. Like if I put them sideways, like tie backs for the curtains. So I'm probably going to hang these up now because I got the curtains in the dryer. and I want to put them up tonight. So this will give them enough time to set before I use them tomorrow. And that was everything for Target. Let's move on to Trader Joe's. All right. First things first, I got these mini Brie Bites. They are delicious. I love them, especially with their croissants, which we also picked up. So I've got some mini Brie Bites and I'm actually going to open these because as soon as we're done filming, I'm going to have a croissant and some Brie. All right. I wasn't planning on getting any breakfast sausage because I still have some, but I remember loving these chicken breakfast sausage patties. So I picked up three packs. Each one has how many? Uh, they don't say. I think it's like less than 10, uh, but they're really good. And usually like chicken sausage, I only like them like the savory, like dinner kind of, let me show you, like, like these are chicken sausage. I love these. They come in like roasted garlic, hot and spicy jalapeno. But for breakfast sausage, I never found a chicken sausage that I liked until these. These are delicious. So I think I'm going to throw one in the fridge. Um, cause all you have to do is like heat them, like sear them and then that's it. And they'll throw the rest in the freezer. Speaking of sausage, I absolutely adore these chicken sausage packets from Trader Joe's. They're like the perfect size and they're perfect for freezing just like in their package. So I got two spicy Italian, two roasted garlic, and then one spicy jalapeno. Tonight, ooh, I should do one of these sausages with dinner. So I'm bringing the feta pasta. Hmm, I'll ask Alvin which one he wants. And then I got hash browns because I'm going to make a breakfast like casserole thing. I don't know about this week, maybe next week for breakfast for Alvin. So these are just like the best things to put on the bottom of the casserole. And then I've never tried these before, but they're chocolate cheesecake bites. And I just love Trader Joe's cheesecake and I've been craving like sweets lately. So we'll give them a shot. All right, next I got the Just the Clusters Vanilla Almond Granola. This is my favorite granola ever. It just mixes it in with yogurt and it's delicious. So since our freezer is basically full, we spent most of this trip stocking up on like pantry items. So we got four of this balsamic glaze, three of the everything but the bagel sesame blend seasoning. Love this for breakfast. Two of their 21 seasoning salutes, 
one organic creamy tomato soup and two of their organic tomato and roasted red pepper soups. Four of their enchilada sauces. This is my favorite enchilada sauce. It's not like spicy hot, but it's got really, really nice flavor to it. So I use this to make the enchiladas and then we just add a hot sauce on top of it when we put like our sour cream and our pico de gallo on top. Two of their speculous cookie butters. And not only is this like a delicious, amazing snack that is great on its own, these glass jars are perfect for like storage. So I save all these glass jars and use them in my spice cabinet. Three of their pestos. I'm really happy they're not discontinuing these because I thought they were. I hadn't seen them in a long time, but this is like my right now you know i actually really like the pesto from costco so right now the pesto from costco and this one are like tied um this one might be slightly up just because this is pantry stable it's jarred so as long as you don't open it you can keep it in your pantry whereas the one from costco from the get-go it's refrigerated so it might not last as long whereas this one you don't have to refrigerate until you open it so i still really like these and last but not least i got two packs of their butter croissants these are just like the best butter croissants and i'm actually about to pop one in our toaster oven to heat up and have with a couple of brie bites as a snack and then i'll make dinner a little bit later so i'll end this vlog here thank you guys for watching this week in my life i'll start another vlog tomorrow so make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever new vlogs do go live i'm trying to get them weekly we'll see how that actually goes moving forward thank you guys for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye